uh, this is a very like parasocial relationship thing to say and it's gonna come off that way but something that i found out during this uh, trial and tribulation that i've gone through with the moving process it's that the watcher the channel the youtube channel that you guys know that i love and if you don't know that i love it i love it um they are uh, leaving youtube to start their own streaming platform completely brain dead move on their part really disappointed i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about we can watch the video so i can be upset all over again they made an update where on youtube to give you some context okay the watcher was founded by three ex-employers or not employers employees of BuzzFeed, okay steven lim who did worth it and it was just like about eating food eating like different tiers of expensive food and whatever and then it was ryan and shane who did BuzzFeed Unsolved, True Crime, and BuzzFeed Unsolved, Supernatural, which is who I like. It's who I started watching uh, Watcher videos for, okay? And that's the only content that I really consume from Watcher. Also, controversial, not so controversial because people have talked about it, is I don't really care about the content that they're making on Watcher because it comes of as really produced like sure it's higher like production value but quality wise is not better it's not worse but it's not better it is like better produced so it feels a lot more like it's scripted and stuff like that so and the whole thing with this video is them crying i'm i want to show you the credits to this after they spew all the shit that they're about to spew also by the way i'm going to show you that has a uh, 36k let's see if someone has uh, given us the the numbers here it's at can you guys see it over here 217k dislikes officially this video has been ratioed worse than any youtube rewind ever just for a little bit of like like background for a little bit like mm -mm. they're asking they're, they're literally begging for money in this video they're begging for money from people that like their audience is people like you and me people that are not wealthy people that like live paycheck by paycheck sometimes you know what i mean like that's their audience young adults teenagers not wealthy people they're begging for money in this video and i want you to see the shots hollywood LA oh my god headquarters like the production value that comes from a video where they are asking you for money as sad as it is to say goodbye to YouTube um, it's the right thing to do if this is my life no it fucking isn't first of all you guys don't have the numbers not even Mr. Beast could pull a move like this he couldn't not even with his fucking numbers could he pull a move like this because i'm going to show you why okay the problem with the watcher having their own uh, like streaming service is like first of all they don't like uh this was three days ago they don't produce enough content to warrant six dollars a month because it would be like what like four videos per month it doesn't it doesn't add up okay look at the views in this okay 1.58 million good 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 but then if you go to any other like this ones the views fucking drop the problem is they only have like maybe two uh good shows that pull the numbers and they're both hosted by ryan and shane Steven Lim doesn't pull numbers. The other people at Watcher do not pull numbers, right? Also, you're asking for people to pay money for things that are that have been free. Also, I would remind you that these I people are the YouTube ones that are just like, oh, fuck the rich, eat the rich. Like you know, we're we're not like the other 
like famous YouTubers. Fuck the rich. Steven Lim, this guy, he's the CEO. A hundred percent he's fault. Loved and cared about the Only a few days ago he was like bragging about having like a Tesla. You My know, Regard, and how and everyone can afford to, you know, pay six dollars a month. Morris it's giving, it's five dollars a month, guys. You guys can't subscribe. It's five dollars a month. Are you guys a pro? I don't like him, by the way. I'll say it. I don't care about Steven Lim. What is this overproduced? To want to go into film. Like, what's with the music? It's really upsetting because even if they backtrack or they change what they were planning to do. Pursuing my... You know, because they will ambitions hear me out so then I went the whole streaming service my work for a few months but even before that when i was at Norway, but after I that a bunch of dumb people videos. are not gonna pay them for content that was free to begin with i'm gonna uh, give you like a tour through the comments later because they're so funny but like no one not a single soul in the comments it's sided with this decision the whole premise of this is just like they're asking for money because first of all they don't want to ask, they don't want to do sponsorships because it doesn't feel right, but they will ask money of their poor fans. May that make sense? You're not going to take money from billion like dollar companies, but you will take money from your fans. May that make sense? Also, they already have a patron that goes from five to a hundred and they have like what, like around 15 thousand people subscribe to the patron oh which makes them a lot of money by the way either whether you subscribe at like tier one or tier whatever i don't know how a fucking patron works but then which is really funny is like the patron supporters do not have memberships for the new streaming service they have to pay again so they're already paying monthly for their patron they have to pay again for like they don't get no privileges what the fuck what the fuck it's just stupid it's just ridiculous and it easily goes to show that a lot of content creators that are like 10 times bigger than them would never think about doing it like like doing something like this because they're not fucking stupid and the problem is they only have they have very few talent they're trying to pull a dropout which I don't know if you guys know about Dropout. Dropout is kind of like that. It's a lot of like, like shows that, like they, they premiere on YouTube, but there's so many shows here. So many shows with so many seasons. If you come for one, like I come for the D&D content, but then you can go and be like, oh, I just watch this. And I'm, like, this is a lot of content, like animations yada 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 you know what i mean but then you go to the watcher website and there's nothing new first of all there's nothing Level new quality that would perhaps punch above its weight and then and it's so just like figured, okay if we could it's not enough it's not enough to warrant you just like look at like that's what they want to do they just want to like go around with their bodies and eat food and they want me to pay for it i don't know how many people worked on this video alone but i think it was something we're like 25 people why do you need 25 people? What are they doing? Because they're not producing content. They're not working. Because you guys upload like once or twice a fucking month. Like you're not producing content. So why why are you paying them? Why, why do you need 25 people for? Fire them. That's one of the comments that stuck with me. Like they will downsize their fan base before they downsize their fucking company which is insanity and then after this they spend like two days in complete radio silence and i think they only release an update because tomorrow they have a tour on the uk people are gonna fuck them up anyways people are gonna fucking heckle them and boo them anyways or at least i hope that they do from three to six to ten for what for what? 25. Like they're like doing this like exaggerated in like studios for like shows that they like do like two or three episodes on because they're not popular because guess what? People that watch The Watcher watch for Shane and Ryan exclusively. They don't watch for Steven Lim 
or these bitches or anyone else. And I'm very sorry about that, but they don't watch for other people. They only watch for Rain and Cheyenne. And Cheyenne? Rain and Cheyenne? Ryan and Shane. God, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe you guys don't know either. I think their staff from BuzzFeed, it's on Amazon Prime and Hulu, I think. That makes sense to me because if you pay for Amazon Prime or you pay for Hulu, you can watch them and you can watch many, many more stuff. So you're getting you're you're getting your money's worth of content. But they're asking for seven dollars a month, seven ninety nine, I think, which is what, like a dollar less than Disney Plus or something like that? For nothing. They don't produce enough content. They don't have enough content prepared. When Dropout uh, dropped, like Dropout is another YouTuber streaming service. When Dropout uh, dropped, they had seasons in different shows already pre-recorded, ready to go. So when people started like coming in, they had a lot of things to like choose from, which is what you should fucking do. How are you guys going to jump into this? with zero preparation and zero respect for your fans. Know your fucking audience. Because they literally said at some point, and it's insane, anyone and like anybody can pay $6 a month. And people were fuming because guess what? First of all, $6 isn't the same like amount of money, like depending on where you are in the world, first of all. And second of all, a lot of people have to, you know, think about it. Think about it. spending $6 a month. Either pay for your subscription or pay for fucking milk and groceries. Or, you know, do something with the money that is actually, like, useful. Instead of just putting it in something that is not going to pay off at all. Because at this moment in time and knowing them, if you pay them $6 a month and it's 7 at this point, if you pay $7 a month, it, YouTube membership, why wouldn't you do that? They have a patron and they have a patron with 15,000 people in it. They just want money. They're money hungry. And the thing is, they're like, oh, it's because we want to keep the quality. No one asked you to do better quality, to do like TV like. No one. No one asked you for that. Their peak of their career was was during BuzzFeed and they had zero money with that one. Mycobacterium to this was it. It was fucking PowerPoint slides the bacteria and fucking the Comic Sans. And people went fucking wild for this. They're nowhere near close to pulling none of those fucking numbers ever again. This was the peak of their career and it was them just going around with like shitty fucking quality equipment because people were there for their the banter between them. Just like to watch Ryan get scared and Shane being a little shit and just the banter and the laughs. That was fucking it. But now they're like in their own heads being like, oh, we need, you know, we need more cameras and more stuff and sound equipment and this and that and whatever. It's just like, no, you don't. You're not doing this for the people that watch you because guess what? I stopped watching you more often after you start to like go all crazy with the studio sets and, and shit like that because it just feels overproduced. It feels disingenuous and it's just like it's not what it used to be anymore. You're doing this for yourself because you guys just want to be TV personalities now and it's not going to work. They have merch. They have merch as well. 60 bucks for like a shirt, a hundred for a hoodie. They're making money. The problem is, is not their income, is the outcome. Like they have so much money going in. Where is it going to? I don't understand what happened. Where is it going to? It's probably going to like all those people they fucking hire. They hire their fucking BuzzFeed buddies or their family members. And then they're like, you know, too embarrassed to lay them off and fire them so to this day they are still hiring people and the thing is guess what having your own streaming service isn't fucking cheap servers are fucking expensive servers maintenance 
fucking expensive. All the things that YouTube is doing for them for free or other streaming platforms will do for them for free. It's so fucking expensive. You don't understand how expensive it is to have servers running properly. Fucking customer service. You need to have customer service. Fucking expensive. Why? Why? I do not understand. And I do not believe that any other streaming service wasn't willing, if pitched, to buy Watcher. I genuinely do not believe that. Because it's like, they are popular. They're not nearly as popular as they could be or they should be for this move to happen but they are popular so i bet but these like want to like have control they don't want to like you know sell themselves to another company like fuck you dudes fuck you yes this is a rooster teeth like beat by beat is a rooster teeth move and i think it's even worse than rooster teeth even worse. That's They're never going to recover from this. Especially when we do our, like, live Ever. And the fact that the, uh, Shane's yeah. wife was like, well, you guys have to understand that content isn't for free. If you want an artist to be able to, like, you know, have a sustainable wage, you, you have to support them. Motherfucker. You are, like, your wedding, Shane's and Zara's wedding, their venue alone was $50,000. That's more than some people make a year. And you are telling me that I have to pay your husband $7 or $6 a month to sustain your fucking LA like lifestyle? First of all, why are you guys living? Not even Mr. Beast lives in LA. Guess what? Because it's fucking expensive and he wouldn't, you know, be rich if he lived in LA. Move somewhere else. Downsize your fucking company. Fire people. Make more genuine and quality content. But don't beg me for money. You think I have money? Motherfucker. Do you think I have money? You think people that are fucking watching you, they're like in their teens or they're like early 20s. We are in a worldwide like living crisis situation. Do you think now is the time? fucking do this they're never gonna recover from this but it doesn't matter if they backpedal they're the never gonna fucking recover there were so many more options we've hit a bit of a ceiling in terms of except this offer. we're making something for two audiences we're making it for the fans all of you out there and we're also making it to please the advertisers it's difficult boo fucking who boo who so because they don't want to make content to please the advertisers that pay them they're asking me for money and instead of taking the millionaires money they're taking my money it's stupid Cult what do you mean it costs a certain amount to make content in the way that we do so stop we to put so stop on. stop doing it stop doing that stop it downsize stop if it costs that much money and it doesn't make that amount of money back it's not I, I know zero about business, okay? I'm not a finance girly, okay? I am not. But if you're putting a lot of money into something, expecting it to make the devil, at least, back, and it's not doing that, there's a hole somewhere. Or maybe multiple holes. There's something that is not working. So don't make it on me to give you more money to fix your issues. First of all, mind you, context, pause. No one ever has ever complained about ads in their videos. Not a single person. In fact, people have been like, hey, keep doing more ads. Like, get your back. Get that money. We don't mind. We don't care about that. But all of a sudden, they're like, oh, we cannot do more ads. Mm, it's against our, our code of conduct and, and morals. It's like, the fuck are you talking about? That's stupid. Find on, say... A Netflix or something like that. But Beep that. To a certain level of quality that you would find on say would find on say a Netflix, Netflix or something or like that. If I wanted Netflix quality, I would pay for Netflix. Guess what? They also have thousands of shit to watch. Is it good stuff? Not really. Not anymore. But at least they have a catalogue. I don't watch YouTube. 
I don't watch YouTube for fucking Netflix quality content. Bitches. I, this is insane to me because another thing, they're fucking ghost hunters. I'll say that again. They're ghost hunters. I'm sorry. I enjoy, I enjoy like some, some banter and some like, you know, little spooky vibe like any other person. But you guys are ghost fucking hunters. You guys are literally filming air. But you need like a fucking five, like 50k camera to film air. And the thing is, it's not a fucking niche. It's not a fucking, you know, they're not the only ones making this content. Other YouTubers are making the same content better and more successfully than them. And they don't have a fucking streaming platform. It's fucking ridiculous. There you go. If you want Netflix content in, in quality, just go to Netflix. Don't do your own fucking streaming platform. It's dumb. The right? staff that comes to help us shoot that when we're shooting Why? Studio Why do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Five people to hunt fucking ghost. I cannot, I cannot reiterate this enough. You guys are fucking ghost hunters. You guys are filming air. Why do you need seven people for what? Why do your assistants need assistance for? Oh, we have to pay for the studio. No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. Because you've been doing this. You have already done this concept and this content years ago. Like for, by the way, they've been on YouTube for four years. As watcher, four years. Where are you going? Where are you going? They did this. You know that meme from Tony Stark? Like Tony Stark did this in a cave with fucking scrap. They did this in a cave with fucking scrap. And it was like 10 times more successful than it is now. That should tell you something. They did this at BuzzFeed when no one was rooting for them. No one gave them any budget and any money because they were like, oh, you guys are going to do a fucking show about true crime and fucking ghosts. Fuck that. No one cares about that. So they had literally a fucking desk, some fucking manila folders, and PowerPoint. That's all they had. And that's that was the, the peak of their fucking career. But now you're trying to give me Netflix fucking quality? I don't watch Netflix. <laughs> who watches Netflix? It's so stupid. If me, who doesn't even have a smidget of their fucking money, can see how this is a terrible fucking idea, why can they not see that? I would pay you fucking $6 a month for fucking stickers. But I'm not going to pay you $6 a month for a streaming service. I'm not. To pay for the studio to shoot the actual episode in. Then we have to pay for post. Before that, we also have to do the- They're not doing anything themselves anymore. And this is why this fucking channel feels completely dead and not genuine at all. They pay for the studio. They pay for someone to edit their videos. Then they pay for the whatever. They don't do anything themselves. It's just like- what are you doing? About an end of a season that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why? Why? Where is it going? I don't see it. I don't, I don't, why? Who asked you? It wasn't me. Who asked you? If you guys want to do like Netflix, like do, go, go with Netflix. The problem is they want to do all this big shit, but they don't want to be tied to a company. Because, you know, capitalism is bad. They're asking me for money, but capitalism is bad. I don't want to take money from big companies because, you know, they're bad. Because they're rich. So we're not going to take their money. We're going to take your money. I used to love them. When I was at the worst of my depression, I used to watch them to sleep nightly over and over and over again. What the fuck is wrong with you? YouTube. Also, Perhaps you guys don't fucking have place. enough content and quality to make a fucking television show. Who the fuck do you think you are, ghost boy? You're a ghost hunter. Who the fuck do you think you are? Upsetting. Putting into each of these episodes so that we're not constantly running around trying to find sources of revenue to support the model. We Change the model! If you have to run around 
like screaming like, oh, we don't have enough money for this. We don't have enough. Change the fucking model. Downsize your business. Fire people. Change it. Something isn't working and it isn't that you don't have enough money. We don't make enough money because people don't support us anymore. They don't like us. Stop trying to like make this a fucking pity party. Just if you don't have enough money, change your fucking business model. Change what you're doing because it isn't fucking working. And if I can see it, you guys that are actually fucking managing the money should also see it. And I will, I, will, I, I cannot reiterate this enough. They have two shows that do really good, maybe three, which is fucking a puppet. Look at that. It's a puppet that tells history. And they're not even that accurate stories. They're not even, they don't even do their homework that well. Probably because they don't write their scripts anymore. They have someone else writing them for them. Maybe even AI at this point. I wouldn't put, you know what? At this point, I believe anything. And they have a ghost hunting show. But you were trying to make a TV show. You're trying to make a Netflix quality TV show. And that's not for YouTube. YouTube doesn't do that. Motherfucking, didn't Markiplier like put out an entire fucking movie for free on YouTube? What? What was? Yeah, yeah, he did. And then they have other That's shows that just like get canceled because no one wants to watch them. Doesn't so. necessarily always like trend. It, hey, we've trended quite a few times, okay? But that's never. Yeah, you're gonna you trend know, for a very goal. different reason now. To rely less. On Why? Even TV shows, even Netflix relies on advertisement, you fucking dickwads. Even Netflix, even other streaming services, even other TV shows rely on fucking advertisement, you fucking bitches. You months and years, like how can we make this business more sustainable? How can we make something where we can make the Fire people, fire people, fire people, fire your fucking cousins and your friends from BuzzFeed. Fire them. They're not doing anything. Fire them. I want you guys to see the fucking credits to this. We want to make how many fucking people not be worried about did this fucking video? Here. Which should have where... taken who? The camera guy? The guy that edits? And the sound guy? Tops? Three fucking people should have done this fucking video. And I think it was something crazy like 25 people did this fucking video. Like someone presses like A, passes it around. Control, passes it around. Alt A and it's that's how they fucking work. Otherwise, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Even this, even this fucking video that is supposed to make me feel sorry for them and maybe be like, oh, they don't have any money. Yes, because you guys fucking spend it in shit like this. They spend it in shit like this that it's just like soulless. It doesn't have any fucking life in it. How is it going to be? different than the YouTube experience. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How is it going to be different when it just has the same things that I have already watched on YouTube for free? Did I tell you guys that it's not even new content? They're just like pulling things from YouTube for now because guess what? They didn't think enough. They were they had their heads so up their fucking asses this past few months they have been working on this that they forgot that they need to have new content that people will subscribe to. Right? They need to have like actually like seasons of multiple shows so people are like, oh, yes, this is gonna be good. No, they have pulled content from YouTube that the people have already watched for free and they're putting it on their new platform. So you can pay to rewatch something that you have already watched for free. Yes. What and if they offer you a show? No, they run. Motherfucker, I do this also, here for free. I don't even like merch. Of that, show. that should tell you all you, you need to know about me. Time. There you go. You see what they want to do? They're bringing back their fucking like friends from BuzzFeed. And they want me to pay for their plane tickets and for their hotel bills and for their fucking restaurant bills. When I'm sitting here fucking pirating what we do in the shadows. But you want me to pay you to travel the world when I'm here? Like... The fuck do you think? Who do you think you are? What, like, completely tone deaf. Who do they think they're talking to? They want to make TV quality for eating food and filming air. 
I will repeat that. They want to make TV quality and they want to make you pay them. $5 a month or 6 or 7 I don't even fucking care anymore because it's all the same to me. They want to, you to pay a monthly fee to watch them eat expensive food and travel the world and film the air and scream and act surprised. That's TV content. He didn't do phenomenally on YouTube. Why? 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 Yeah, that would be performing perfectly fine on us. No, they wouldn't. And let me tell you why, right? Because you're here on YouTube, the platform, youtube.com. You're on YouTube begging for people that watch you through YouTube, that have been watching you through YouTube, to go through to your streamer website to watch a show that they have already seen on YouTube that they didn't like, and the numbers told you that. And now you're going to put that on a streamer service and be like, oh, but now it's better. Now they're going to make you, now they're going to want to watch it because it's on a streaming site. You're uh, the same people that watched it and didn't like it. And the same people that are going like, to go to your website and watch it and not like it are the same people. Except because you guys are fucking cowards and pussies. You guys don't have a comment section on your streaming website. So if people don't like something, they cannot let you know that they don't like something because you guys are fucking cowards and money hungry fucking bitches. That's what Streamer. happens. It's about money. Yeah, what's this price? You can become a member of Watcher for $5.99 a month or $59.99 a year. We want to keep the price low enough where anybody and everybody is able to afford it. You drive a fucking Tesla, you stupid bitch. So anybody and everybody can afford it is a cup of coffee. It's a, it's a cup of coffee and some people cannot afford a fucking cup of coffee, you fucking... So that's why people watch YouTube, because even if you had ads, they just fucking watch it for free. Have you thought about that? Have you thought? Again, another fucking instance of they don't know their fucking audience. If they didn't have a patron, if they didn't have a podcast that it's paid, if they didn't have all these other sources of income, I, maybe I would be like, well, whatever, sure. It's a fucking stupid idea, but I get it. Their only income is through YouTube. That's it. But they have a patron and they have a paid podcast and they have this and they have that. And so it's like, how much more money do you need? People are doing this. They're doing much better than you are with much better numbers and much better quality content for 50% less of what you fucking spend. Sometimes even no money at all. They don't have the numbers for this. Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, all these fucking names on YouTube that completely fucking run circles around these guys numbers wise and views wise. They don't have a fucking streaming service. They don't. But you think... The, you with your numbers? What the fuck is wrong with you? Just Get a fucking job at McDonald's, Stephen you can, Lim. You can, you can, I'm not gonna pay for your share, shit. You know, with your friends. <laughs> oh yeah, they tell like, well, you want you can share it with your friends. They capped because people were actually doing that. They were like, oh sure, bet, and then we're paying. Like someone was paying that, and then they were like giving the username and the password away for multiple people to use. They realized that people were doing that and they capped it for three devices per account. Bitches. Look at this. It's all shit that it's free on their YouTube website. They're selling me things that I already watched for free. Isn't that like, imagine like an actual store. They just like resells you your shit. Like you go in there with your pants and your fucking clothes and they just like, you have to pay for the clothes that you have already bought. It's ridiculous. Why not put that on fucking Patreon? Just put the behind the scenes on Patreon like normal fucking people do. Don't make an entire streaming fucking service because you think that YouTube is too small for you. It doesn't work for us anymore. It's just, 
we want to make TV shows. We don't want to make YouTube videos. You have been making YouTube videos. Your videos of right now, they read like YouTube videos. I want to see the update. The They're time, not going to backtrack because they have already spent most of their YouTube. money into the fucking uh, streaming website. And, it's know, not going to work. To you. And I'm really fucking upset that this is the end of them because they're fucking stupid. I hope it's not, but if it is, I do want to say thank you. Fuck you. For supporting us all along. Yeah, thank you for, for giving you money is what you mean, but not, it wasn't in, enough money for you. Your viewership has allowed us to do Indeed. all wonderful things that we've done. Indeed, it has. I made you. People like me made you. You do not appreciate where you come from. We made you. And you're like, oh, we're too good for YouTube. Bitch, you guys were fucking nobodies before YouTube took you under their fucking wings and allowed you to, to fucking fly. You fly too years. fucking close to the and, sun, uh, Icarus. You stupid you bitches. Will... Let's count. Director, one. Editor, two. Art, I'm not going to count those two because they're the same. Art director for a fucking farewell video. Three, a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen people for a fucking fourteen and thirty one seconds video. And you're telling me they're those all 15 people are essential workers in the company. I keep returning to this video not to watch, but to read the comment. Anyone can afford six bucks a month. I knew it. I knew I was nobody. There's a lot of people that cannot afford it. They're completely tone deaf. They're completely like in over their heads. How to kill a successful media adventure in less than 15 minutes. Well, maybe when the fortune teller said Ryan would die on camera, she actually made his reputation in career. Maybe. I recognize that the council has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid as the section, I've elected to ignore it. God. They have lost in two days 100,000 subscribers and had 220,000 dislikes on this video alone. 80,000, 81,000 comments. 36,000 likes. They got ratioed hard to the 25 staff members, 25 staff members and start looking for work because this isn't going to end well. Let's see their update. I haven't seen this. Four minutes. It took them 15 minutes to spit in my face and slap me. But it's going to take them four minutes to address everything. On last Friday, we announced that we're leaving YouTube and launching our new streaming platform. We messed up. A lot of you spoke out with extremely valid comments and concerns, and we want to take the time now to address those. We've been reading the things you've been saying, and we're sorry for the way we handled this, as well as the way we communicated it. We understand where you're coming from, and we're making immediate changes. First, we want to have first... Oopsies, they're not gonna, they're gonna still use the fucking stream and whatever. Firm that you are the reason why we've been able to do anything at this company. You helped exactly. us every step of the way when we left BuzzFeed to start Watcher yes. at the top of the pandemic in 2020. You've supported us in so many ways by watching our And again, it's scripted. It's fucking it's scripted. Again, the whole like panning to a different person and they say their fucking line. Motherfucker, you cannot even at least pull a fucking ukulele to apologize. Sing me a little tune while you give me a fake apology. Bitch. Content, attending our live shows, buying our merch, becoming members They're gonna of They're going to get roasted and tomorrow of in their live show. Uh, roasted. And we are incredibly grateful for your support. We're no, you're sorry not. for how we originally no, delivered not. our goodbye message to YouTube. You're sorry. Was... You're sorry that you fucking realize like, oh, no one wants this. We fucked up. They cannot back out. They cannot backtrack from this decision because they're probably like fucking elbows deep in shit right now. They're so far in into this fucking streaming service bullshit that they will literally go bankrupt if they pull out. I bet my fucking, my fortune that I do not have. I fucking bet my savings on that. 
they're not they cannot backtrack because they cannot like financially they cannot do that but they realize like oh no one wants this we have zero support going forward even if even if that this fucking venture worked for like a few months mark my words after the six month ha like mark they will file for fucking bankruptcy because there's no coming back from this even if they go back to youtube no one is gonna watch them the way they did before and the people that are supporting this like venture like this fucking little adventure they're going on they're not they're casual fans they're fans that do not care enough to be upset about this but you know they will like go there look at like being watch their content and just like dip and never subscribe ever again so they fucked up they've done fucked up because the people that they want is the people that will pay six dollars a month every single month not the ones that will like paid for one year like maybe like one month not even a year and just dip and that's what who they're getting i don't trust them anymore they have literally spit in my face and took my fucking lunch money this is what they have done no it's not sincere it's not sincere because again Oh, you're not putting oh you're not putting how many people are working on this one are you you're not but it's not sincere because it's overly fucking produced like everything they fucking do it's in a fucking studio that they're asking me to pay for fuck that it was insensitive we didn't properly Shut express up. how much we appreciate all of you and we did a really bad job of explaining the reasoning you're behind fucked. this transition. You're done. We you're done. We also want to deeply apologize for our ignorance around the impact of the cost. Fuck you. We regret Shut that up. it is not. We didn't take the proper consideration for how this cost would affect you. Sell your fucking Tesla, civil limb. You are having fucking money issues. Sell your fucking Tesla. You want me to pay for your watches? You want me to pay for your fucking underwear next? And hope you know that we are taking I this feel as a serious I feel experience. devastated. With that in mind, I'm telling you, I watched these motherfuckers at the peak of my depression. These fucking assholes put me to sleep. And now they pulled it. I feel like I've gotten broken up with. And I'm in a very happy relationship with my boyfriend that I love a lot. I love you, baby. But I feel like they have broken up with me because I'm poor. Because their new friends, their new rich friends do not approve of me. Because I'm a fucking peasant that cannot spend six dollars a month that's what it feels like it's insane to me it's insane and now they're so deep in it because they've been working on this for months allegedly that they cannot backtrack even if they want to they know deep down that this is not gonna work that they're literally they just like pour buckets full of money into something that it's just like not gonna work it's not gonna make any money back and now they have to sit there and wait until either the internet forgets or they manage to make the same steady amount of money that they did before and guess what i highly doubt that's gonna be the case this is very distressing for those that have already watch. subscribed to the platform we are so grateful for your support, but if this change has you rethinking your membership, we will issue a full refund. And all past episodes and series will remain available on YouTube. As for the question of why we decided to launch our own platform, when we started Watcher in 2020, we wanted to create shows that we were proud of, that we had ownership over, and that would provide you... But you do, you do have ownership of everything you make on YouTube. And the thing is, you guys are not making documentaries. You guys are not making two hour long movies or series or docu series you're not making anything like that you're hunting ghosts filming a puppet talk about history and you're filming a guy cook sometimes and eat expensive food that's not tv quality stuff it isn't so what are you guys doing the caliber of content that we felt you deserved however no don't bring me into this equation i didn't ask for fancy cameras and 4k definition and shit like that i didn't ask for that no one asked for that you wanted that you wanted that 
quality because that was your dream to be a TV or movie producer. That's on you. If you want that, do that on the side. Don't bring me into this. Definitely did not want to lay people off that have brought Watcher to life behind the scenes. And we didn't want to bring Watcher to a close, which would have happened. It's gonna happen right now. We didn't want to, because you, you made poor financial decisions because you have three talent, three fucking faces that make content in your channel. And you have 25 people working for you. Doing what? Tell me exactly what do they do? Do you need five editors at all time? When you, like, that's the thing. If they made, if they pumped out content constantly, then maybe I would say, you know, maybe 25 people are enough. You guys don't make content often enough to justify paying 25 people. If we stayed solely on YouTube. That's why we decided to launch the platform so that we as a company. You could have done so much more stuff. And again, what Anglo said before, you could have raised money. People would have given you money if you had like done a GoFundMe. Insane. Company Insane. Could continue. We could pay our staff fairly and not only continue to make great content for you, but expand with new shows, new voices, all ad free. And now they're so out of touch with reality. They don't know, like this has gone to show they don't know their audience at all. Again, they built this company on the backs of people that just watched these two people. No one cares about Steven Lim. People watch, watch your stuff for these two guys. We don't want new faces. It is what it is. It is what it is. Guess what? You already did this type of content 10 times more successfully when you had nobody. Nobody editing, nobody scripting your videos, nobody producing shit, nobody post-producing, no, nothing. It was you and a fucking laptop and a little fucking mic and a PowerPoint. That was it. And it was 10 times more successful great content for you, but expand with new shows, new voices, all ad free. This is so and now ridiculous. with the addition of accessible options, mm. this is a decision that we all believe is the best for Watcher. You guys are going to go bankrupt and it's pretty sad because they, now they have fixed it. They have backtracked and now what they're doing is like, oh, if you pay $6 a month, you can get our content uh, like a month in advance. We're going to still post it on YouTube, but we're gonna, you're going to get it a month in advance. It's because they cannot do anything else. I've, I've been talking about this. It's because they have probably paid for the servers, for the customer service, for whatever goes into having a fucking streaming service, which I'm assuming is a lot of fucking money. It's gone. That money, it's gone. So they have to make a profit. Are they going to make a profit? No. I am... They didn't think the announcement was going to go as terribly as it did. They really think... They, they really think they really thought that this was going to be their like, like, like get away from YouTube. This was going to be like their, the breaking point. We're going to make so much money out of this. We're just going to be completely fine. It's going to be fine after this. They really thought that. And then they opened the fucking comment section. They were like, oh, oh, we're fucked. And they're fucked still. This is not going to save them. This is just like saving face, but it's not going to save their company. Because no one is going to want to support them after this. All current Patreon members will receive a free subscription code to the platform. This is so funny. Because all of this, you know, like you think like, oh my God, they're like, all of this is like what people have been telling them. Like people were so up upset about, about Patreon. Like I told you guys that about Patreon subscribers because Patreon subscribers got zero privileges for paying them money that they didn't have to pay them people were like wait wait you're telling me that patreon subscribers don't have a free membership so now they're like no 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 no. they they do they do have a free member <laughs> obviously they do no we told you to do that we have to tell you to do your fucking job and do that because otherwise what the fuck are you doing
it doesn't it's it's just, why do we have to do your work for you and on top of that we have to pay you but we are doing your job for you so you want oh. if you already purchased a subscription please contact us and we will issue you a full refund we look forward to continuing to make shows and introducing all the incredible things that we've got planned work. for the platform alongside YouTube. And in the meantime, we are forever. Alongside YouTube, <laughs> we're going to make shows, but you know, YouTube, YouTube is going to be, no, you wanted to leave YouTube. What was the, the, what was the, the name of the fucking video? Wasn't it good, goodbye YouTube? All what was the it? All the people who make up our community. And we hope that you consider joining us in this next chapter of our journey. No. No. And again, you won't find anyone that loved these people more than I love them. Maybe some of them that were willing to like pay for like hundreds of dollars for their merch. I loved them to death. They were my comfort fucking YouTubers. I really like them. The hey, fact everyone. that for now, you know, like... Like, like this time, no music, no dramatic shit. We had to tell them to do that as well. God, so forgive them. I'm not going to forgive shit. I don't forgive people. I keep it to myself. I hold on to the grudges and let them fester inside me. That's what I do, okay? That's what brings me joy. So, fuck no.